there, there will be knock-on effects. It's not just 50 million that, that's spent initially. Uh, some of that is going to be spent in local businesses, you know, to, to help with the construction or uh, other personnel that are brought in will spend in the local community. And so the, the effect may be somewhat larger than that, uh, certainly in the near term. Uh, long term, as I say, I just think this is something that's, you know, is continuing to uh, enhance the reputation of Augusta for, uh, for cyber security. Uh, it's difficult to quantify in terms of a dollar number, uh, but it definitely seems that th this is just another another brick in the building blocks that will, will help us prosper in the future. You know, we, we've seen Unisys come in uh, because of the Cyber Command um, uh, and the support uh, system that they provide to, uh, to military personnel. Um, and so maybe you, you get other private businesses now coming in thinking, you know, this is not Silicon Valley by any stretch, but you have this clustering effect now uh, that this is the place to go if you want to be trained in, in cybersecurity, if you want to work in cybersecurity. Uh, and so any private firm that might be interested in that, either uh, because they're in cybersecurity or they need uh, that kind of a service for the business, this may be the, the first place that they call. This is the age that we live in now. Um, you know, we all bank online, we do transactions online, um, you know, none of us carry cash anymore particularly. Um, so th the industry will necessarily be here. Um, on the national security front, you know, that's, that's always been a focus since the birth of the nation, <laughs> you know. Um, and so those kind of things are, are never going to go away. Um, and the technology age that we live in, um, we're still going to need these kind of um, securities for just everyday living now. Well, I think one of the things that we, we need to do in Augusta is, um, is make sure that we do have that workforce, um, whether that's uh, from the, the university side uh, and training um, or at the K through 12 level as well. You know, uh, if, if these are the jobs that we have in the local area, um, then we need to be doing uh, a range of different education all the way from the K-12 to the technical colleges to the uh, university here in order to provide a range of different um, personnel with a range of different skills that we were required in the future. Mm -hmm.